All right, so that's a very quick one. Yeah, we've done like 15 minutes out of the one hour we have to spend on this call. So, Plaza, can you quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I'm the community manager with uh, Furu Combo. So I've been working with Furu Combo for just over a year now, um, helping on the marketing side, business development side, that kind of thing. Um, I got into crypto in about 2017, and I actually heard about it on my birthday. Uh, I read about Bitcoin and then, you know, bought some Bitcoin that day because I, you know, I felt like it was such an interesting thing to be a part of, um, to kind of, you know, be giving power back to the people um, as I explored things. Um, at the time, the, the market really wasn't that robust, but... You know, as days went on, started to realize this thing like, oh, there's Ethereum, there's these, this thing called smart contracts that's being built on top of it. You know, you're, you, it gives you the ability for, you know, to create, you know, DAOs for people to work together. So it kind of expanded on the idea that Bitcoin was creating to kind of, you know, again, bring power back to the people to do things in a mathematical decentralized way that wasn't, isn't possible with today's governance. So that just really spoke to me. And so, you know, over time, I just worked hard to kind of find a project that I could work with. And that was, uh, that ended up being Furu Combo. So I can kind of go, go into a bit of what Furu Combo is, if that works, or I can pass it back to you there. All right, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, cool. So yeah, Fruit Combo is a bit unique. It's uh, a platform that kind of combines all the decentralized finance products into one to try to be kind of an interface for all these these dip different applications. So, you know, Fruit Combo has, it's a, a proxy system that allows you to execute transactions on it for all these different platforms. So for example, if you want to do a swap on a decentralized exchange such as Uniswap or SushiSwap, you can come to Furu Combo. You can click, um, you know, to enter a cube into the chain of transactions and then choose Uniswap. And then you can perform a swap, approve and send it right on the Furu Combo interface. So basically, Furu Combo allows you to chain together transactions and then execute it in one. So you can chain maybe five or 10 swaps together and then you can send those and it'll execute one transaction. So the benefit of that is you can just come to Furu Combo to um, learn the one interface instead of having to go to all these different websites and learning their interface. And then it makes it easier because you can just add these cubes. You can execute, instead of sitting there over and over and over and doing 12 transactions, if that's what you're trying to do, you can just do that in one transaction. So we also have something called the multi-send. So that helps like DAOs or, or projects that want to do airdrops or yourself. If you want to send one token to multiple wallets, you can add the multi-send cube and you can send it. You can paste in all your addresses from a, a spreadsheet, a .csv file, or you can just add all your addresses manually, save it to the there's a little place to save your addresses and you can just send all those tokens to your addresses, things like that. So we're just trying to make it easier for people to use, uh, to get involved in decentralized finance and use all these different products. So we got lots of options like uh, trading on ex um, decentralized finance exchanges. Our big one is like lending protocol. So we partner with Aave. And then we also offer their uh, flash loan feature, which isn't available unless you know how to, to code. So with the flash loan feature, you can do like advanced position management and you can do arbitrage. So what arbitrage is, is you can take a flash loan and you can do some swaps on exchanges. And if you're in a profit, uh, after you pay the flash loan back, you get to keep the principal. So that's a little bit uh, tricky um, right now because that side of the market is um, covered a lot by bots now. Previously, you could do this a lot more, but it is still possible to get profit from arbitrage. So that's one thing that people try to do with the flash loans. 
And then the other one is the position management. So that's one that we're, we're trying to push a lot harder. That's the one that has the most success rate. So this allows you to take a flash loan and kind of manage your position on a lending protocol. So typically when you uh, make a deposit on a lending protocol, you can borrow some collateral from that deposit. So if say you've used that collateral in another protocol, maybe you're staking some funds on Curve or on another liquidity pool and you don't have those funds available, but you wanna pay back your balance because maybe you're getting close to liquidation. So if you're getting close to 100%, or I guess it'd be around 90% utilization or your health factors getting close to below one, then you could be liquidated. So you're gonna, Aave or the lending protocol will automatically um, close half of your position and use some of that funds to bring your, your, your health position up higher or your utilization rate down. So one thing that we offer is the like uh, deleverage it's called. So it uses flash loans. So you borrow those funds. Uh, I'll just mention, so with flash loans, basically what it is is you can borrow any amount of funds, but you have to pay it back at the end of the transaction. So because Fru Combo allows you to chain these transactions together, then um, you can use the power of flash loans that wouldn't other, otherwise buy, be possible. So with the deleverage, for example, you borrow the flash loan, you use those funds to pay back your collateral position, you take that collateral position that you, you um, or you pay back the collateral position, you uh, withdraw your, your deposit, and then you use your deposit to pay back the flash loan. Because on a lending protocol, um, you have to deposit more than you're borrowing. So you can use your deposit to pay back the, the flash loan because it's gonna be higher than the flash loan that you borrowed to pay back the debt. So you're gonna make about 30% off the top because your, your deposit's gonna be higher balance. And then that just allows you some advanced tooling to say, hey, I'm, I'm about to get liquidated. I'll just close the position using a flash loan and then maybe reopen a position in the future instead of getting hit. I think the fee for liquidation is about five or 10%. So you're gonna save five or 10% right off the top there. So, and then there's other advanced tooling positions. Like you can deposit and borrow in one transaction so instead of making a deposit on Aave and, and borrowing a transaction later, you can do that in one transaction. And then you can also do debt swaps and collateral swaps. So that's like the biggest tool that Fru Combo has to offer is that advanced functionality with, with flash loans. So there's lots of other stuff um, that we do. We are available on like six different chains. So Ethereum, Arbitrum, Optimism, Phantom, Avalanche, and Polygon, and each chain kind of has different functionality based on how um, much depth there is in the, the ecosystem. So whereas like on Ethereum, we have like MEV protection, we have Fru Combo funds, which is like a fund manager system. We have like an invest mode where you can go in and you can choose just pools or farms that you want to put your tokens in that earn you some return. You can just click those one click into that pool and start earning. So on some of those other chains, those features aren't available. So it really just depends, um, you know, how, how robust it is. So with Ethereum, that's kind of Ethereum and Polygon. That's like our spawning ground for, for trying these new features. Those are going to be the most robust. So that's kind of a, a quick overview. I hope of uh, what Furu combo is. All right. All right, um, Blaza, thank you for the um, um, insightful introduction and um, for the fact that you said you came into crypto on your birthday. That was actually a wonderful one. And, and you were able to buy a Bitcoin on your birthday. I think that should be the best birthday gift you give to yourself that year. And I was sure for for combo because that's where i call it combo yeah i've actually known through combo for a very long time though because i myself have been in this space too for a while 
and um, I've always known um, Como for for its flash loan um, features. You know, at the height of everything, when everyone was talking about flash loan, and and um, I think how people could make flash loan them was through writing some kind of codes, right? But it was very difficult for non-technical people. It was very difficult for non-technical people. Yeah, and that was when I discovered um, for a combo. As of then, it was, it was solely built on Ethereum network. Yeah, it was not cross-chain by then. I think the first launch was on Ethereum blockchain. And since then, trying to check out the platform and all that and um, making so many mistakes and not succeeding and I'm just happy that Combo is on six different chains, you know, like, and they have um, more innovations right now. So, seeing um, a project that you've been a huge fan of right from scratch and coming, like, years later to come and check it out, and it's evolving and everything is making sense. So, kudos to the Combo team, and I actually love the work they are doing so far. All right, so... How we do it? How we do it in this space is this: we 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 always have an agenda for the space. Your questions will love you to answer and discussions and dear about. And also, we also have um, a section whereby we get to we we get to get questions from our our community members, depending on the time we dropped this particular advert for this space. So lately, people have actually been sending their questions. They will love you to answer directly. So it's going to be done into segments. So we discuss with you. Then next one, we're going to discuss the community questions. So but I've checked them out. There are more than five. But I think due to time, we'll definitely do just five after we're done with our discussion. So that people who sent those questions across won't be angry and they won't be bored as well. All right, so Zaya, welcome back. Can you hear me now? Yeah, Daddy, I'm All right, so I think the next yeah. question is just what do you say? I said my network connection is just small enough. Oh, oh, okay. You were trying to tell us something about DeFi before you were uh, cut off, so you can just briefly tell us that. So we move to the to the um, agenda every day, and um, as well meet Blaza from from Free Combo, and Blaza as well meet Zaya, one of the core team members of Chain Africa. Hello, Blaza. Yeah, it's a pleasure, man. Hello. Yeah, same here, same here. I was generally speaking, I think I missed some parts of what you said, but I think I got I think I got uh I got that it's on six different chains. I mean for a combo is built on six different chains and with different functionality actually. Then also you talked about gathering transactions and processing them as in the badge. Then also multiples yeah i think a utility for DAOs in that perspective then we talked of flash loans so yeah i think that's 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 cool that's really really cool and you know uh, all these things are aspects of DeFi that we cannot neglect and if there are innovations here today i'm really happy i'm here to you know be a particular of <laughs> the information that is being discussed today so DeFi, as we know it is very broad it's very, very broad. And like I said earlier, it's what propelled a lot of people in this demography to actually be part of the Web3 ecosystem and cryptocurrency at large. And, you know, well, if there are tools out there, if there are services out there, there are utilities out there, innovations out there to help uh, people thrive in the DeFi sector, then really open to hear and extend them as my capacity might permit. So it's really great to be here today, Plaza. Thank you, Okwen, that. All right, all right, Zaya. Nice having you. All right, so let's hit the ground running. And um, don't forget, you can always check out for a combo. The hand we spin up here, you can always check them out, follow them, and get to know what you're doing and get to know what they are 
building as well. They are building as well. All right, so let's keep going. So I haven't had the introduction about Flory Combo and um, and um, the rest of them. So, Blas, can you actually tell us some of the functionalities, like the core functionalities about Flory Combo? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, yeah, so I'll just start with saying with Furu Combo, um, if there's anything you need questions on, we have a really robust docs. So if you just go to our docs.furucombo.app or go to the main site, lots of tutorials to help you get started. We got videos. We have written tutorials uh, anywhere from beginner level all the way to advanced. And then anything you need, any kind of transaction you're looking at doing, you can use those docs. It's very step-by-step. -step. The videos explain everything. Um, some of them are 50 minutes long for, you know, flash loans, advanced flash loans, um, how to set up combinations with create mode, how to use invest mode. So if you spend a little bit of time, you can unlock the power of the composability of Furu Combo. So... Jumping back to kind of the core functionalities. So the main one that we started with at the beginning is create mode. So that's the one where you can click the queue, you bring up all the, the decentralized finance products that are available, and then you can add a cube and then you can start chaining them together. Or you can just use one cube. So you got the the decentralized uh, finance exchanges like Uniswap. Uh, we have integrated like one inch and Paraswap. So one inch and, and Paraswap are unique in that they are a DEX aggregator. So you're gonna get the best price using that queue. So what an aggregator means is you've got 30 different DEXs as a part of that aggregator. So if you say wanna swap Ethereum to USDC, you use Paraswap, boom, they're going to give you the best price based on those 30 or 40 exchanges that are part of Paraswap. So that ensures that if you're coming to Furu Combo, you're going to get the best price on your swap. So that, that can help with things like arbitrage um, or just ensuring that, you know, you're getting the most efficiency out of, out of using our product. So swapping, um, you can wrap or unwrap tokens if you have Ethereum or whatever the native token of that chain is. Um, I think AVAX and Polygon are the only two that aren't using native Ethereum right now. So you have that functionality. You can send tokens to different wallets and you can use the multi-send feature. So the multi-send feature is cool in that you, know, you can import off of uh, a spreadsheet or a .csv file and send to as, as many addresses as you want, really. Um, it'll be based on the maximum block size of the network. So, you know, you might be limited to 50 or 75 addresses that you can send to, and then you'd have to break that up into different transactions. But if the block size could handle it, theoretically, you could send to 10,000, 20,000 addresses at, at once. So that's a really powerful tool. Not, not anything that uh, I've seen built in a front end. I know a lot of projects will do like a Merkle tree contract where they send it to, you know, everyone via, uh, send it to everyone through like an airdrop style with a, with a contract. But that's something you're going to have to build on the back end. So the way we've designed our product is let's set up something where you can create something on Furu Combo without having to code. So we've developed this front end. We've integrated these features that aren't available without knowing how to code and giving it to the people on Furu Combo. So that's where this idea of flash loans came out. Well, it's great if you can take a flash loan, you can do some arbitrage on the network, um, but most people can't, can't code or, or haven't learned, haven't gone through the product, the, the training to do this. Right. So to, to create a flash load contract, um, you know, you probably, it's not super difficult, but you're going to have to do a week's maybe more of training. And the thing with the flash loan contract is you have to code each 
contract anytime you want to do a flash loan because you're going to be targeting different exchanges. You're going to be targeting different tokens. So while you're sitting there writing up a code to get, um, take advantage of some arbitrage, you know, likely a bot or someone else has already jumped in there to take advantage of it. Now it's not super easy again to do it on Furu combo, but it does give you that quicker option to boom, bring a couple cubes in. I'm going to flash loan, you know, three Ethereum. I'm going to swap that Ethereum to die, swap the die back to Ethereum. And Oh, this is interesting. I'm in a little bit of profit after I pay back the flash loan, boom, send the transaction, you know, get three, five bucks, 10 bucks, whatever in my wallet. So it gives users kind of that option. Again, there are some difficulties with doing the flash loan arbitrage that that hasn't been our main focus for a few years now, but that option is there. So again, going back to our main feature, which is the lending stuff. So if you're involved in lending, then you're going to want to take advantage of, of Fru Combo's advanced tooling. So we just dropped a new feature called the lending dashboard, and that allows you to take a look at what positions you have lent on Compound or Aave, and you can manage those positions right from our lending dashboard. So you can, you can deleverage, you can debt swap, you can collateral swap, you can borrow position, you can deposit, you can withdraw. So all those features, anything you can do on the lending protocol and more you can do on Furu Combo. Because if you go to Aave, you go to Compound, you're not gonna get that flash loan feature. You're not gonna have that advanced functionality. So that's our biggest thing right now. Um, and then you can bridge tokens between any of the networks that we have active. So we have a Stargate bridge. So if you want to swap tokens from any of the chains that we have, you insert the Stargate cube, choose which asset, and then you can send it to any of those, those networks. And the cool thing with that is you can, you can chain transactions with that too. So you can say you want to swap ethereum to a different network but you have a bunch of assets in your wallet just add a swap cube for all the different assets you have to ethereum bundle that ethereum together and then you can send all that ethereum to a different network at the end of the transaction there so again the, the power is in the composability and the bundling um and that's that's the main functionality around create mode is basically focusing on that drag and dropping um, it can get pretty deep, pretty advanced, because you can kind of add as many cubes and create as many combinations as you can think. And that's kind of our main functionality right now. So on some networks, we do have invest mode, and um, invest mode is pretty simple. Um, if you want to earn some return on your funds, you can deposit into a pool, right? Um, a liquidity pool maybe on Curve or on SushiSwap or uh, Uniswap, earn some trading fees. So Invest just allows you one click into that. So you could theoretically do that on Create Mode 2. You could, uh, maybe if you had Ethereum, you could swap half of that to USDC. So now you got half Ethereum, half USDC. You can add liquidity onto uh, Curve maybe, if you go into the Curve 3 pool, BTC, ETH, USDC. And then you could stake those funds. So you could set up a transaction where you do that on Fru Combo or just go to invest mode, choose, okay, I want to deposit. And this is the cool thing about the invest mode is you can choose any uh, asset that you have in your wallet and it'll one click into the pool. So say you're depositing into a BTC ETH USDC curve pool and I only have Ethereum in my wallet. So I choose input amount, or input token Ethereum, maybe I want to deposit three into there and enter into the curve pool. It'll automatically swap over those two other, uh, the Ethereum into the two other assets to make it 33% of each of those and then deposit it into the pool for you. So you don't have to worry about, you know, ensuring you have the correct breakdown to enter the liquidity pool, 50-50 or 33, 33, 33 or 25 it'll automatically just do that for you and enter you into that staking staking fund there. So that's, uh, that's the basis of invest mode, just to make it really easy for everyone to get involved. 
And I know if you first come to Furu Combo, you might feel a little overwhelmed. There's a lot of utility. There's a lot going on. Um, but as you, you know, watch some of our videos, check out our tutorials, just play around a little bit. You can do all these actions without sending the transaction out, you know, drag some cubes in, just get familiar with the interface. It starts to really make sense. And then we have our third product, which is um, for combo funds. So this one's pretty cool too. Um, anyone can spin up a fund a Furu combo fund and that's just a, like an asset management pool so like chain of free could set up a fund and then everybody could deposit it into that fund and then chain of free could de decide uh how they're going to manage those funds so say you got ten thousand dollars to manage you can use any of the functionality on Furu combo to manage the fund so say okay we got ten thousand usdc I'm going to, you know, buy some ETH. I'm going to deposit that into a liquidity pool. We're going to earn some trading fees. We might make a deposit in the Aave. Now with this deposit, we can maybe borrow some funds, leverage a little bit, leverage up to 2X, 2.5X. And, you know, um, if we expect Ethereum is going to go up from here with that leverage, we can kind of earn more than we wouldn't otherwise be possible. So you can put like a someone who's understands training a little bit more advanced to manage people's funds right so maybe just in your family you know there's someone you know that's really good investing you can deposit with them they can manage this fund on furu combo and help to earn the family you know rewards or whatever the case is so the furu combo funds just opens up the ability for you to deposit with someone who's more trading savvy and to just say hey i want to get exposure to the market I trust this person. I trust these guys to manage my funds and they're going to work for me. So on the other end for the fund manager, you can charge some management fees or you can charge performance fees. So management fees are always going to be static. Say I choose 1% management fees. I'm going to earn 1% a year, regardless of my performance. And then there's performance fees. So I could charge 10% performance fees and I'm going to earn 10% of the profit that that fund makes. So if I make 100% in a year, I'll earn 10% of that plus the 1% on the management fee. So there's incentive for the manager to be earning for the, the people that are deposited. And then on the other side, there's if they're an advanced trader, they have a history of making good profit. I can just put in with them and watch my money grow instead of having to worry about uh, managing, managing my position myself. Because there's, there's things you got to do. Like if you're going to invest in Aave or invest in Compound in the lending protocol, you have to ensure you're not going to be liquidated. You got to be watching your fund if you're, if you're utilizing your funds to the maximum, if you're pretty close to that liquidation every day, right? And there's huge market swings like had been going on lately. So I can put my money again with someone who's, who's checking this every day. I don't have to worry as much as I, I would uh if i'm in a fund with someone else who's who's man who's managing that on my behalf so that's kind of the third product um we came out with recently right now fund is just available on polygon but we are looking to increase that uh capability kind of adding more cross-chain stuff as we go on um yeah so that's kind of the difficulty with with through combo in the sense that we have all these sub chains these layer twos these side chains that are it's kind of making it difficult right now but we're working hard um to ensure that we can bring the most capability to everyone to on any chain that they want to be on because you know ethereum's great but not everyone wants to pay 30 40 50 dollar transaction fees every time they do a, a swap deposit to a pool so you know maybe you want to go to polygon instead or or something that's going to be a lot cheaper the problem with that is maybe the liquidity is not that great on Polygon as compared to Ethereum. So there are trade-offs depending on how much your funds you're bringing into the market. So you kind of got to be aware of, of what works best for you. So I can, that's, that's the existing products that we have right now. Um, 
I can talk a bit about what we're building, but maybe we'll do that in the next question. All right, all right, Plaza. Thank you. That was a whole lot of information, like tons of information dropped in a um, few minutes. Uh, that was wonderful. All right, so Zaya, any contribution, any comment? All right, I think um, Zaya is having a network issue. Thank you. Plaza, let's just keep writing because time is not really on our side. And uh, my cat today's Champions League final. I don't know. I'm not sure, but pretty sure that who the persons are actually go want to watch the Champions League and all of that. But that was by the way, right? So let's keep moving. All right. So, you have not um, told us um um the functionalities as the core functionalities of um full combo, and how people can actually do a whole lot, right? So. And um, if you do those different stuff, but a lot of people might be wondering, and they always want you to answer this question so that they can actually get something right. And that question is this, like, what are the benefits of um using um Fury Combo for efficient um DeFi interaction? So, are the benefits for using the platform? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, yeah, um. Yeah, so the there's a few benefits. Um, the first is yeah, you don't have to learn the, these these interfaces of all these all these protocols. So on Ethereum, I think we have about I want to say ten or twelve or thirteen different integrations. So you know, Uniswap, SushiSwap, One Inch, Paraswap. You know, you don't have to go to all these different websites learn their interface. Um, learn the intricacies, learn which tokens are being swapped on there. Um, you can do that all on, on Furu Combo with just learning our interface. It gets a bit more tricky with the lending protocols like Compound, Aave. Again, you can do that all very easy on Furu Combo with the lending dashboard. So that's the main benefit is it just once you learn Furu Combo, you unlock the composability and and we're the ones that are bringing in, we're adding these protocols, we're seeing what people want and we're adding that functionality. So you always feel like you're on par with maybe all the other traders because when you come to Furu Combo, it's, we've done our research, we've, we've added products that people want, that people need to do advanced DeFi trading. And you may not know of a protocol that exists that's on Fru Combo that people or people are using and making money with. And when you come to Fru Combo, you say, "Oh, hey, this is neat. This is new. Let's use this. Let's try it out." Because I understand the interface, and now you're you're getting the benefit of that. Now you're using that new product that you might have not known about previous to that. So that really just helps people in, into the market that that are maybe feeling a little overwhelmed, a little confused, you can start getting involved in this, this DeFi trading pretty easy. Um, especially with the tutorials and videos, we really try to make it easy, break it down for you. Um, that's one of the benefits of Furu Combo. So the other one is we, again, we have an active dev team. We try to bring all those new products to the table, um, ensure that everything on Furu Combo is what people need. We want to try to be the one-stop shop for, for DeFi. And, you know, it is difficult. There's a lot of protocols. We're not going to be able to integrate everything right away. It may take us some time. We may not even be able to integrate the feature because of the way Fru Combo works. So Fru Combo is a, a proxy system. So it sits as a contract between the handlers or the different protocols that we integrate. So when you send a transaction through Fru Combo, it goes to the proxy, gets routed to the handler to perform the transaction, and then back to your wallet after that. So some functionality, as it sits right now, can't be done through a proxy, and then that limits us a little bit to, to what we can do. So that's, that's the only kind of downside to the proxy system. Um, but there are more benefits than... And negatives and of course we're always working to 
ensure that we can bring as much product to the people that we can work around these negatives. Um, because, because Furukom was one of the only proxies, whereas a lot of protocols, it's like, okay, we're on a different chain. There's no lending protocol. Oh, we'll just copy Uniswap's code or the, the sushi swap code. So with Fru Combo, you can't copy anyone. There's no one working on a proxy system. There's no one building what we're building. So we have to think about it in depth. We got to develop it from scratch. We have to get it audited. We got to think about what might happen if we do something, right? So it requires a lot more thought, a lot more in-depth discussion on the back end to give you a clean product on the front end, something that's going to be easy to use, functional, that kind of thing. So the other benefit is, again, we can provide advanced tooling that isn't possible without the use of Furu Combo. So going back to flash loans again, this isn't possible unless you know how to code. So with Furu Combo, you can use this advanced functionality because you can chain transactions together. You can do arbitrage, you can do advanced position management. So that's a huge benefit. Now the third benefit I'll talk about, which is something we're, we're developing right now, um, it's going to be available soon. It's called the composable router. So right now, it's difficult for a protocol or even a user to develop something on Fru Combo because our, our API is closed. You'd have to work in part with the team. The design isn't that um, easy to work with. So we've created something called the composable router, which will allow anyone who knows or can do TypeScript to develop contracts. So you do not have to know how to use Solidity. You can use TypeScript and you can code your own functionality onto Fru Combo and you can create your own cube. You can create your own trading bot. Anything that interacts with the contracts on Fru Combo, you can create on your own end. And the composable router is kind of open to only the person that approves that contract. So there's no security risk to the rest of the user base who's used for combo proxy. So this is going to open more doors. It's going to be, op uh, be a more of a benefit to any, everyone who is building on it or using for combo. Cause for example, with the composable router, someone could build a trading bot. Now everyone can approve and use this trading bot to maybe, uh, um, automate arbitrage transactions on Fru Combo. So maybe that person who developed the bot can charge some kind of a performance fee for using that. Every time a transaction gets processed through the bot, they can earn 15% and then it's a win-win. So maybe that person who created the bot gets 15% off that transaction, but that person who did the arbitrage still gets a profit. So now it's a win for the person that created it, a win for the person that found the arbitrage, which is automatically executing with that bot. So this is going to open up the, more, the door to more benefits once we go public with the composable router. And I think that's going to be the biggest thing. So we've been working hard on that for just under a year, and we should release that later this year. So again, the benefits are ease of use on an easy-to-use interface, um, functionalities that aren't available anywhere else besides Furu Combo, and then now unlocking even more capabilities with the composable router would be the, the third benefit. All right, Blazer. Um, I really appreciate those amazing contribution of yours, right? I love the fact that you stated the benefits and um, you also gave us some kind of risk involved. And um, I love the fact that everyone can always, um, uh, can always, um, customize their own um, functionality and um, do everything they want to do, right? So that's a whole lot of um, tons of benefits, right, that comes with um, the combo products, yeah, <laughs> because I love calling it combo. So <laughs> there's many reason why I love calling this particular project combo is um, when you get to, like, um, combine the whole blocks, right? Because I, I think I, I told you earlier, I met the project at its early stage, right? When it was just launched on Ethereum chain. So you just get to, like, put a whole lot of block. Either you're swapping from, um, um, from Uniswap or you're doing something on um, one inch and all of that. So 
or even on um, there is, there's this one other is, um, text there, sushi swap, yeah, sushi swap or para swap, whichever which of them that you're doing something on. So you just get to keep stacking the block, and that is where the combination comes in. So I feel that is where the the project drew its name from, the combo. So you just have to join everything till it's making sense, and you'll be able to do a whole lot of stuff. So nice, 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 cool stuff. All right, so um, as we, we actually speaking, um, a whole lot of persons are coming to the core and people are living and all of that, people are still coming. And um, someone who is also dear to me actually hopped in into the space and um, Smiley, as I have to give her a share, because I always tell her each time I see her on CT, when I count my blessings, I count that twice as well. So I really appreciate and uh, thank you for joining us this wonderful evening. Yeah, smiley, welcome. All right, so um, Blaza, let's keep riding because time is not on our side. As we said earlier, we've actually discussed about the benefit, and um, we just want to we just want to um get a bit into um technical stuff. Then we come back um we come back to we come back to the audience question. So the the first question I actually want to ask is this. Yeah, we've actually heard about the benefits and all of that, introduction, strategies, and all of that. So we want to ask this question. So what are the common challenges or questions users might, might encounter when using them for a combo? So what are those challenges or what are the questions users might actually ask while using for a combo? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, there's. I, th I think the most common issue is is people setting up uh, cubes incorrectly. Um, so, example, for example, they may not set up the flash loan cubes correctly for what they're trying to do. They may. So, when you're performing an arbitrage on Fru combo in the top left, it's going to say either you will receive or initial funds required. A lot of times people will see that you will receive and think, okay, this transaction's in profit, but they go to execute and it says it's failed. And then they can't understand why it's it's failing. So a lot of times people will add like a, a borrow cube. And what a borrow cube is, is it allows you to borrow from your deposit on Aave. But if you don't have a deposit on Aave, you're not gonna be able to use the borrow cube. But when you put a borrow cube in, in the top left, it says you will receive. So people will put the borrow cube in. They'll say, hey, I'm in profit here, but the transaction's not executing. So a lot of the times that's that's the core problem is how people are setting up these combinations that may not work. So we are always available on the Discord, on our Telegram to answer any questions to help. I always advise people to start with the tutorials, especially the video tutorials. They're done by myself. I try to go very in depth into any issue or problem and break it down to the is you know the the lowest denomination as possible, so that you can understand each step of the way. Um, the introduction to create mode is a really good place to start to just try to understand how you want to get started. Um, what kind of trades you want to make, how you want to get involved in the market, how you can start making your money, uh, you know, put your money to work and earn some, some reward for you. So the biggest problem I think is setting up the combinations. A lot of the time someone will set up a combination correctly, but there are some um, intricacies with, with certain cubes. For example, with the, Dex aggregator cubes, if you're chaining together in a certain way, it might not work. Like, for example, if you're doing um, ETH to USDC and then you're going to swap back USDC to ETH and you're going to keep doing that over and over, it may look like you're going to generate a profit in the end. But what happens is when they, when it goes to execute the first transaction – E to USDC, you're gonna the pool itself is gonna change its value, right? You're gonna you're gonna lose some value on on the swap or lose some liquidity that the liquidity in the pool is gonna change. So 
uh, USDC to ETH, for example, um, you're going to pull more ETH out of the pool and you're going to make a deposit of USDC. But what happens on fruit combos, you've changed this together 12 times. The price Oracle isn't picking up this chain in the change in the liquidity because the, the liquidity change isn't executed yet on chain. So it's never going to work for you to chain together 12 of the same transactions back and forth because you've not yet changed the liquidity in the pool. So once you do that, maybe with one swap, you'll notice, oh, hey, this isn't profitable anymore because I've changed the dynamic of the pool so much. So like price Oracle, price changes through an Oracle or price changes on the network aren't going to be seen by linking together all these these similar transactions. So that's one that people have a problem with. Um, there may be some issues with price slippage that you need to adjust. You need to allow for that. So we have a document called um, troubleshooting flash loans. It lists all these problems that people have. And I, I do talk about that in our flash loan video as well. I go through each of those problems that people have and then talk about how to fix it. Um, I talk about how to set up a combination that's going to earn you money. And I show you combinations where people have earned money. So again, the videos are the best place to start and the troubleshooting docs or our docs are also another good place to check out. So we try to minimize all those issues that people would have. And again, because of the, you know, the dynamics, we try to, we're always looking to ensure that people are having a good user experience. If, if someone's having a problem, we'll update the docs, we'll update the interface to make it easier. So again, the biggest problem is just failures in the, the create mode combination. I ask you to come to the Discord or check out our docs. There's likely something that you can adjust to make the transaction go through. And it can get pretty complex, especially with the advanced trading features. Like if you're going to manually, and you would have had to do this before we introduced the lending dashboard, but now with the lending dashboard, you don't. But if you're going to manually set up a debt swap, collateral swap, it's, it's seven, eight, nine different blocks, and they have to be in a specific order. Um, you have to use add funds or return funds, which is an advanced functionality. It can get a bit confusing. So I had one user come to me, he set up a combination, couldn't figure out why the transaction wasn't, was failing. Everything was set up appropriately or so he thought, but he was, he was doing a, sw a debt swap on a compound transaction, but he was using an Aave block in there. So once we switch the Aave block with the compound block, then the transaction executed. So again, if you have a problem, come to us. We're, we're always willing to help. That's what we're here for. And, uh, you know, hopefully everyone comes, they have a good user experience. But if there is a problem, yeah, that's, you know, having good support is, is half the battle. And we'll get you through the, the, the problems that, uh, that you're having with your with your transaction. But I'd say that's really the biggest one. That's the two biggest things, I guess, are setting up combinations incorrectly or having errors, or just the the first main step of understanding how the platform works, getting involved. I'd say those are the two biggest things. So again, we've created nice docs, nice videos to help you learn how to get involved and, and get involved in this awesome world of DeFi. All right, all right. All right. That was, a, that was amazing. That was amazing. Like, God, you listing those problems and you listing how they can as well be tackled and solved. And um, I know any product or any community or any project that actually want to thrive. And as, if you're building um, something technical, right? You're building a product that people get to use. Of course, you need to like um pro provide a 24 hour support system because um in as much as possible you think everyone is technical or or everyone is not technical you the people always come around to ask those questions and um how they can as well solve one or two problems just like what you said so far that someone um had a problem or the problem was it was actually um using another block instead of using another block in 
in a situation like that or in a case like that people get to panic and be like oh this stuff is not real this stuff is fake and blah 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 stuff like that but they, f- they, they forget to ask for help so it's very cool that the the combo team has actually um, provided a whole lot of stuff for community members so you can always ask for help in any area where you're stuck and you'll be bailed out all right so we we've done one hour already our space is always one hour you because of our audience and some people have other things doing so we'll quickly jump on to the community questions then we get to do some as time goes on probably we get to spend like more 10 minutes here or 20 there about so we have a question from our co-host and uh, it seems like he's having a network issue we should have asked this question himself so the first question is this seeing that full combo is integrated on multi-chain so far what blockchain is the most favorable to the utilities that for a combo presents in the DeFi space? Cool, cool. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'll try to be a bit quicker with my answers here too, um, just to help speed things up. But yeah, uh, Polygon and Ethereum for sure. So Ethereum, we have the most integrations um, and then Polygon, we have the most functionality. So Polygon has the invest mode. It has the fund system. Ethereum has the most protocols added to it. It also has the uh, invest system, but it does not have the fund system. So, of course, we're always looking at expanding functionalities to um, the different chains. The reason why we started with the fund system on Polygon is because it's a lot cheaper to execute the transactions, right? If you're doing, if you're managing a fund on Ethereum, it's going to cost you $30, $50 a transaction. We want our fund managers to be able to perform transactions to change their portfolio easier without having to worry about those, those fees. So on Polygon, you know, you're only going to be incurred 10, 20 cents maybe per your transactions. So it's, it's going to be a lot cheaper, a lot more accessible for people to get involved, especially if you're spooling up a fund that's of a uh, lower value. So yeah, uh, Polygon, I'd say provides the most breadth of diversity, but Ethereum's kind of the deepest uh, integration that we have currently. All right. Awesome. 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 Cool. So we we have another question from the coming. Then while I go over to the questions that were sent over the week, um, the next question is this: um, What demography utilizes um furry combo the most? Ooh, uh, that's a tough one. Um... Yeah, so the so Furu Combo is uh, developed out of Taiwan, so there's a pretty strong, um, you know, um, Asian market support. Um, also, there's a lot of people out of um, North America that utilize Furu Combo. We have a pretty large uh, United States audience. And then uh, actually act- uh, Africa as well, and then India, I th- I'd say, are the top four... Um, we do get a lot of people out of Russia, Ukraine area too. So I would say those are the top five, although I'm not hundred percent sure on the latest demographics, but those would be the, the top five. And yeah. And then the other part is what kind of transactions are these people doing, right? Like which demographic is doing what kind of transactions that would be another interesting thing to look at. Um, but yeah, I would say those are the, the top five. So it would be the kind of China, Taiwan area, um, North America, so Canada, United States. We have people out of Ukraine and Russia and India and then Africa, but I'm not exactly sure which areas in Africa, but uh, those would be the top five. All right. All right. Awesome. Awesome. I love the fact that um, Africa was actually included in the list. So maybe probably in your subsequent research, you get to actually know where are the volumes coming from. Is it from um, Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, 
Cameroon or Tivoara, or even Algeria or Tunisia or even Egypt, because I know a whole lot of people in Egypt as well are doing marvelously well when it comes to crypto. So that is awesome. So that is awesome. Really appreciate um, those um, those um, amazing um, amazing um, contributions, right? So, all right. Okay, so we we have um tons of questions right that we've that we've collected over the week and uh we can just do all of them so probably do probably do some which are important like we just need to select the questions based on priority and the ones we feel there should be should be held out here while other ones can actually wait so from the list i have this particular question and the question is this how does Fluid Combo ensure transparency and accountability in its operation? Are there any audits or third-party assessment conducted on the platform, smart contract, and um, security measures? Yeah, that is a that's a great question for sure. Um, yeah, so we have uh, we have on our docs page our audits list. We have extensively audited. Um, I believe we've done twelve or more audits. They're all listed there through different reputable parties: Certic, DDAB, um, Chain Salting. The there's a uh, Peck Shield. There's a huge list there of of audits that we've done. Again, because of the uh, depth of a of a proxy, how we can't just copy someone else. Uh, this is new cutting edge technology that's not being done or built by many protocols. We have to really think about security and, and security comes first in that matter. So we do ha also have a uh, active bug bounty with ImmuneFi. So if you're looking at the fruit combo contracts, you discover a bug, we offer up to, I believe it's a million, 200,000 in bug bounty if you find something. So we always appreciate the the white hat hackers as opposed to the people that just go and exploit the contract. So if you do find something, take advantage of that bug bounty. Um, as far as I know, we haven't had any one take advantage of it yet. Um, we do take serious consideration into security and ensure we have all those audits in place. But that is all, always there and available to you if you do find something reach out to the, uh, go to our docs, go to the bug bounty page, fill in your information into ImmuneFi, and we'll work with you on fixing that particular issue to ensure that our product is safe and you know people can't get taken advantage of. Um, on the accountability side, uh, Fruit Combo did transition to a DAO, I believe it was a little over a year ago. So using the combo token, not even if you don't even have the combo token, you can come in, you can make a proposal. Um, maybe your proposal is to add a, add a protocol. Then with your combo tokens, you can vote on that. If there's enough support for that from the community, we'll integrate it as a team. So um, also earlier in this year, the DAO or uh, members of the community voted for Furu Combo to charge a small fee on the initial funds, for example. So now those initial funds are transferred into a treasury and the treasury is managed by the community. So the community can decide how they want to move those treasury funds. Um, if they want those treasury funds to be part of a fund or something like that. So all of that is managed through the DAO. So that's how we're kind of um, dealing with the transparency. If you have combo tokens, you can get involved. Anyone can create a proposal on the DAO and, and get involved. And then we're always, of course, we do uh, in-house community calls. We talk about what we're building, what's coming next, any issues that we've had, anything that we've worked on. Every year we do like a year analysis, talk about how many people have performed transactions, how many vol how much volume has gone through the protocol. So we always try to be as transparent as possible. You know, we're living in this new kind of paradigm where things are switching towards a decentralized manner in this space. We don't want to try to create this central entity that's keeping things away from the people. We want to just be as transparent as possible, as easy to talk to as possible, and have everything on the table there for, for people to see. So that's kind of how we're, we're working to the direction that we're moving through Combo towards. 
All right, all right. So these questions, I think I'll just pick like four or five. So, but well, let's keep going. Um, the next question is this: I'll just pick them like the most important ones. Okay, and this question is: um, What are the future plans and development in the pipeline for Furry Combo? Any upcoming features or partnership? we can look forward to? Yeah, another great question. And uh, yeah, we're always looking to increase the robustness. Um, for example, we are working with a protocol called uh, Radiant, which can offer us 0% uh, flash loans. So right now on Aave, you're, you're, every user, uh, um, whether they're coding their own contract, going through us, they're going to be charged 0.09%. So that kind of reduces the efficiency and reduces the possibility to find some arbitrage. So we're working with a protocol called Radiant who might be able to offer us 0% flash loan fees. And the unique thing here is it's also built on Aave, so we don't have to kind of incur any audit costs. Although we go through the contracts to make sure there aren't any major changes, we might have to do a minor audit, but it kind of saves us on the audit cost there as well. So that's one thing we're working on is, is bringing more efficiency to Fru Combo through maybe different protocols or changes in tooling, such as a reduction in flash loan fee. So of course, the other thing that we were working on, which I spoke about, which is the composable router, that's going to open the doors for much more builders to get involved. Um, we're looking at expanding functionality for things that aren't yet available. Maybe that's through uh, options or leverage platforms like GMX or Gains. So now you can come to Fru Combo. You can do some leverage trading through our interface, which isn't possible currently. And then we're looking at some cross chain stuff. Like how can I maybe maybe I can deposit on Ave on Arbitrum and I can borrow funds on Optimism, something like that. So that's going to allow more cross-chain functionality. We're looking at that through some partners like uh, DeBridge, um, Layer Zero, um, Ave also directly has something called Portals. So that may expand some functionality as well. Um, maybe how can I do a swap on one transaction, send it across to uh, another network, and maybe deposit that into a liquidity pool all in one transaction. So right now it's not possible because you need to wait for some confirmations on a network before you can execute a transaction on another one. Like Polygon has had a lot of reorganizations with their blocks lately. So typically you got to wait 300 confirmations before you can receive your deposit on the other side. That simply doesn't allow us to do those chain uh, transactions cross chain. So we need to look into others that might be able to help us achieve this and streamline the process for users. So really, we're just looking at making things easier, increasing efficiency, and kind of adding more and more core functionality as we go. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. Great. Do some amazing answers of yours. They are pretty good and great. I believe if this person is on this space, he or she is going to be um, satisfied with the answer you've given so far. All right, so let's just do two more before we go. I just feel we should actually answer this question um, because I feel the person who wrote this question might actually be like been affected by um, flash loan attack issues and the rest of them because I feel this question is more personal and I did not even ex um, expect it or I did not see it coming. And the question is this, um, what measure does Furry Combo have in place to prevent and uh, mitigate potential risk such as um, flash loan attack or smart contract vulnerability? Yeah, so the, the smart contract one is interesting. Um, I don't think I can recall a transaction that's gone through for combo that's acted in a, a negative manner. For example, to hack someone or to exploit or sandwich to hack some funds. I think most of those malicious actors are, are have created their own contracts and bots to kind of take advantage of this. Um, the thing about Fru Combo Flash Loans, for instance, is you can only interact with the platforms that are on Fru Combo. So a lot of these flash loan attacks are targeting 
uh, smaller projects or contracts directly. So that simply just isn't possible with Fru Combo. So like I said, I haven't seen any attacks that I can recall that have gone through Fru Combo um, because you're interacting kind of with these blue chip uh, contracts. You're interacting directly with the Uniswap contract. So, and then on the security side, yeah, I mean, there's the, there's a lot of complexity to adding these these contracts into a proxy. And we've had to, over the years, go through many, many audits, I think uh, 12 or 13 there. So I think as time goes on, as you've completed more audits, the risk goes down. There is always the risk there. But again, security is of paramount importance to us. So we try to ensure that we're doing as much as possible to make sure uh, sure users are safe. Um, for example, one thing that we changed recently that a, a lot of protocols have changed that greatly reduces the risk is when you're approving funds to use in the contract, you only approve the amount that you need for that transaction. So say I'm swapping 10,000 USDC, I only approve 10,000 USDC. Previous to this, a couple of years ago, all, a lot of these contracts would just approve unlimited. So say I had 300,000 USDC in my wallet, but I only swapped 10,000. If there was an exploit on that contract, you've now given a limited approval for that contract to use your USDC. So if that contract gets exploited, now that uh, hacker can suck that 300,000 USDC out of your wallet. So a lot of protocols, including us, have changed that to just 10,000 USDC to perform that transaction. And the interesting thing is this, the 10,000 USDC, once you've done that transaction, that approval gets closed. So you don't have to worry about, you know, that user withdrawing $10,000 from you 30 times and, and draining your wallet that way. So there's a lot of little things that you can do to ensure that the security is good and, and through your combo is, is kind of taking advantage and looking at all those different areas. Awesome, 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 great. All right, so let's do the last one before we go. And um, this question is this. I think this particular person is concerned with gas fee. And the question is, um, how does Furry Combo address concern around gas fee and scalability in the DeFi space, especially during um, times of high network congestion? Yeah, for sure. Another great question. Um, I always recommend if de depending on the funds, like Ethereum isn't going to be the best for you. Um, a lot of times you get, like you mentioned, times of high gas fees where NFTs are being dropped or new tokens are being dropped and gas fees spike really high. Um, so, you know, switch to a network that isn't going to incur such fees. And a lot of these smaller networks are giving some incentives too. like optimism will give you bonus optimism tokens on depositing in Aave, stuff like that. Our uh, Arbitrum's done airdrops. We're looking at all these smaller networks and adding them like uh, uh, we're looking at adding uh, ZK Sync. ZK Sync hasn't done an airdrop yet. If you perform some transactions on ZK Sync, you may be eligible for the airdrop. This could be two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars uh, to you. So there is a bonus to looking in and performing transactions in these smaller networks, not only because you're saving on gas fees, you may get some bonuses from the network in terms of tokens or airdrop. So that's one thing to look at. Um, I think it's easiest to just get involved on, <coughs> on Ethereum, but start exploring the world a little bit. There's lots going on with these smaller networks. Um, if you're dealing with smaller asset amounts, it's not really going to matter which network you go on. Uh, you're not going to have liquidity crunch. You can pretty much go anywhere. So yeah, definitely check that out. Um, if you are going to perform on transa uh, a transaction on Ethereum, you can adjust the gas fee if, for example, you're depositing into uh, a lending protocol. It doesn't matter when the transaction gets executed it's still going to eventually execute. So set your gas a bit lower, sit on it a bit. If you're okay waiting 24 hours, 12 hours, 10 hours, you know, if the current gas fee is 30 way, set it to 15. At some point that transaction is going to get executed. You're going to spend half the gas fees 
and it's not going to matter. If you need it immediately or if you're doing a swap where the price can change, you're not going to want to wait that long because the transaction is just going to revert. So that's another option. See if, okay, I can wait a bit on this transaction. I'll lower the gas fee. I'll try to get it for cheaper. You can always go back there in your wallet, in your MetaMask and speed that transaction up later. So that's one option. If you're doing it on Ethereum, you can adjust the gas fee there. Uh, I'll pass it back to the uh, host there if they're available. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, my mic was muted. I was actually talking to myself all this while. I said, um, awesome, awesome, great, great, and mad stuff. When we say mad stuff, it means amazing stuff, and um, the speech was well delivered. So this is actually a dream come true, right? Seeing you one of those projects you believe in um, coming to your AMA to deliver a speech, right? And... Um, having been one of those early adapters who saw who saw um free combo at the spike of um um flash loan right and um trying to use the platform to do amazing stuff and all of that so it's cool so you following up something for a very long um, period of time you following up something for a very long period of time and um you're bringing them up. Yeah, it's more like a dream come true for me because I know it's not easy, right, trying to reach out to the project like Free Combo and um, bringing them on this platform to come talk to us. I haven't followed them for a while, not even a year, not even a two, I think, well, I think close to three years now. So I'm following up. So And today, it seems like that particular dream came into reality. So kudos to Free Combo team for honoring this um, invitation. I'm grateful and I'm really, really happy. And for everyone who has actually attended this AMA, I want to say a very big thank you as well for the, from the Afric family. And you've done amazingly well. Staying up for like um, one and a half hour listening to us talk like navigating the combo interface and everything and getting to ask questions. So I believe you've learned um, a whole lot or even one or two stuff that will help you in your DeFi journey. So as you keep um, interacting with um, for a combo, you keep noticing and um, you keep improving and you keep getting um, what you want in the DeFi space. But don't forget, Blaza said something very, very important and very amazing that if you stumble upon anything, you can always reach out to the community on Discord. And I said something as well that in everything you do, community building and um, support should actually be one thing. It should be top, um, top notch. So, and um, the Combo family are uh, taking it upon themselves to provide that. So if you stumble upon anything that is not clear to you, you can quickly run to Discord. And someone will be there to attend to your needs and um, the person will be there who will, will gladly pull you through. So that's amazing and we really appreciate you guys for coming. All right, so Blaza, before we before we wrap up the space, before we end the space, do you have any word to say before we wrap it up or before we call it a day? Yeah, no, um, I absolutely appreciate you guys uh, reaching out to us and, and having me on this this talk. This is fantastic. You guys had some awesome questions. Um, super glad to just share information and share with different communities. So I'm I'm really excited for for you know looking to expand the the DeFi ecosystem and just help to bring this product and and the whole space to different communities where we might be able to help and foster positive growth. Um, Cause there's a lot of areas that are, for example, have issues with the current um, ecosystem with the way banking is now. And this just helps to kind of bank the unbanked and the, the whole space is just awesome. So super excited that uh, you guys uh, hosted us on here 
and that we were able to share a bit with with your community. And, you know, I hope that's useful for your community. If you haven't checked out Furu Combo, definitely check us out. Um, feel free to follow us on Twitter, follow myself. Um, and yeah, as uh, as was mentioned, we are always, always excited to to help anyone else out on the Discord, on the Telegram. Don't feel like um, you have a stupid question. Just reach out to us. Um, I'm always available in the Discord to help. And my prerogative is to put the community, put the user first. So as the community manager, you know, that's the, the most important thing to me to ensure your your satisfaction. So I want you to have a good experience on Fruit Combo. Or, you know, just reach out to us about any uh, decentralized finance or anything crypto or blockchain. You know, um, I'm super excited about the space. So is everyone in the, the project. So we're always just excited to talk and, and have fun and, you know, learn things, new things with you. So uh, we're, we'd be very happy to have you as part of the community as well. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough for being here and, and hosting us on this. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Sure. Thanks to everyone who has actually sticked with us for these one and a half hour. We love you and um, we appreciate you. It's not easy. Yeah, without you, Chain Africa is nothing. And without you, Furry Combo will move forward. So we just get to keep supporting um, both communities and let's see what we can um, build together. Let's see what we can actually achieve together in the DeFi ecosystem. And um, we definitely you know these are trying times in crypto, but we don't just get to stop. We get to keep pushing and we get to keep um, making impact. When I mean impact, I mean positive impact, right? That will, that will lead to positive growth. So we keep doing that and we keep sticking together. So let's stick together and let's keep moving forward as well together and let's keep supporting each other and let's keep growing so at this point this is what we're going to call this space to an end see you um guys some other time and we really appreciate good night and um have a wonderful night race and for those of us who are going to watch on champions league final be careful and also enjoy the rest of the weekend see you guys next week and um god bless good night Thanks again. See y'all. All right.